See the beginning of a new era in Detroit. Today, Mayor Mike Duggan shared a $2 billion budget for next year that he believes is solid enough to end state financial oversight. This comes almost five years since the city filed for bankruptcy. Seven Action News reporter Kim Russell is live downtown. And Kim, what do city leaders say this means for us? Well, Mayor Mike Duggan's office says this is about renewed optimism and confidence in the city of Detroit. In 2013, Detroit had $18 billion in debt. Detroit simply could not afford to pay for basic services. One example, it took police about an hour to respond to priority one calls. Detroit emergency manager Kevin Orr filed for bankruptcy. It was the nation's largest municipal bankruptcy in history. Since emerging from bankruptcy, the state's Financial Review Commission closely watched the city's finances. As you would expect, we are presenting you a balanced budget. Today, Mayor Mike Duggan shared next year's balanced budget with city council and said he expects the state to end oversight this spring. The Financial Review Commission would still exist and review the city's finances every year. However, the city would no longer have to get state approval for big purchases. That comes about because uh, the city has had three years of balanced budgets. John Hill became the city's chief financial officer as the city was in the middle of bankruptcy and helped lead the city out of the mess. He says the city has put together a four year financial plan to make sure Detroit stays on the right track as debt payments come due in the next few years. It's been hard work. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no question. A lot of late nights. Those long hours have helped lead to a budget surplus of more than $50 million and the ability to make improvements. The mayor aims to tear down more dilapidated buildings, invest in plans to improve neighborhoods, increase animal control staffing, and expand police programs such as Project Greenlight and Project Ceasefire. The one area where there is a significant increase in full-time positions we're proposing is the Detroit Police Department, uh, where we are proposing an additional 141 full-time positions. So the city says there is still work to be done, but if you want to paint a picture of in the of the improvements there have been in city services in the city. You can take a look at those police response times. According to what the city has told us, again, if you called 911 back in 2013 for a priority one incident, it would have taken about 58 minutes on average for police respond to respond. The number is now down to 14 minutes. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. The future is bright in the city, Kim. Thank you.